Hey guys, welcome to Monday night's whole team winning uh, training call. We're super excited to see so many of your lovely faces on here tonight. Thank you so much for coming on. Uh, we're so excited uh, to share some amazing tips with you guys from uh, the event yesterday and there's a few other things that I'm going to cover as well. Um, but mostly we're going to be hearing about uh, the event yesterday which was over in um, Essex. There were some incredible speakers. Our very own Miss Turner was speaking on stage which is amazing um, and I think it's just really nice to recognise that and um, I think we all should just give Amy some love. So really well done Ames. Congratulations. Like it's absolutely amazing for getting up on stage it's not easy to do to get up in front of 10 people 20 people however many people that you're getting up in front of you know so just congratulations and it's just really nice to see like the progression in you and guys if you're sitting there and you're thinking like god like you know Emily and amy you always do this call and like i could never get up on stage you know we we used to feel like that too you know, I used to be in that position where I used to be like, there is no way that I'm ever speaking on stage, ever. Um, and, uh, sorry guys. And, uh, yeah, so just, it's, it's really nice to see. And if you just, you know, follow your uplines lead, you know, there's so many things that you'll be able to smash through in this business. Sorry guys. And, you know, you, you'll, there'll be things that you'll be able to do without even realising, like right now you'll think, God, I could never do that. But actually, the only limit that you have is, is one that you put on yourself. So, um, you know, it's just beautiful to see Amy, you know, grow into such an incredible leader. So anyone that's in the dream team, you guys have got an absolutely amazing leader there. Um, you know, my guys are super inspired by you as well, Amy. So, yeah, just really well done. Amazing. So, right, just before we get into... Um, the event and getting people on to speak from the event yesterday. Um, something that I just really wanted to touch upon because I had a really, really long conversation with Katie yesterday. We had a Zoom call um, yesterday morning, my time. I don't even know what day that was when in, in Miami, wherever she is in the world, um, down in Florida. Um, but we had a really long conversation and we were talking about uh, business. We were talking about what we're passionate about. And she said to me, Mills, what do you really love? What do you really love about this business? And I was like, do you know what I really love, Katie? I was like, I love bringing new people into this business um, as a customer and helping them get results. And that is something that I thrive upon. And throughout my whole time in the business, it's, it's the thing that caught my attention most about this business was how can I help people every single day? Um, and because just recently, like we've been focused so much on the growth of, you know, recruiting, recruiting, recruiting. Like personally, I, I didn't lose my way, but I know that I wasn't focusing as much on what I was, what I really loved. And actually, like I didn't enjoy recruiting people into the business as much from, from, from people who you know, weren't on the products previously. My passion is finding people, helping them getting on the product and getting them results and bringing them through then into the business organically as team members. And that's what I personally find um, works really, really well. And so I just really wanted to talk to you and revisit about customer, customer care guys and what we, what we can be doing day to day and why it's so, so important. But don't get me wrong, it's, it's obviously a great way to bring people into the business. To, um, you, um, you know, bring people, recruit people onto a journey. Um, I don't know who that is, but you keep on meeting yourself, so please, can you not? I can't meet you. Um, it's, there we go. I don't know who that is. There we go. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, obviously, like, if you're bringing people in um, straight into the business and they're getting on the products and getting in the business straight away, that's great. If, if that's what you love to do and getting them through all the videos and getting them in the Getting Started group, fine. My passion really is finding customers, getting results and, and organically getting them through the business. So I'm going to talk to you about customers um, and just why getting customer results are so important and how we can help our customers get results. So um, what is the most important thing to know, guys, is getting customer results always starts with yourself and getting your own results, right? So that's so, so, so important to know because we're not going to be inspired to help people get results if we haven't got results ourselves, right? So ask yourself right now, like, what journey have you been on? It doesn't have to be anything huge. You don't have to have a massive weight loss goal. You don't have to have 
Um, you don't have to have, sorry guys, I don't know who this person is. There we go. Um, you don't have to have like amazing results, but um, I'm actually gonna, whoever C bot is, please can you mute yourself because it's really off putting and I will end up just kicking you off in a minute if you don't keep muting yourself because it's really putting me off. Sorry guys. Um, so yeah, starting with your customers, it's really important to start with yourself and your own journey because you're not be gonna be able to get passionate about the products. You're not gonna be able to get passionate about your journey you know, to inspire other people. So, so getting customers always starts with yourself. So from today, think about how you can improve. You know, I've been in the business for like coming up to seven years in December, and I know that I've progressed every single year in some way through using the products, whether it's, you know, whether I've done a fat loss journey, whether it's been through improving something in the gym, um, whether it's been hair, my skin, there's always been something that I've been focused on that I've been sharing with people that I'm, I'm progressing on. Okay. So ask yourself, you know, what could you improve upon within your, in your lifestyle, within your health? And focus on that and make a story out of that because you can make a story out of anything and share that with people because it's that story that's going to give people the information and the inspiration to come and join you. Um, so that's that's a really, really good thing to know is that your your journey and inspiring other people always starts with you and, and your progression on these products. So really have a think about that. But like I say, it's, it's, you don't have to have a really in-depth like big story like oh I've lost seven stone or you know I always used to think that my story wasn't particularly any good because you know I had bad acne but I didn't have a lot of photos and a lot of people didn't know actually how terrible my skin was and how much it affected me um so what I made sure is that I talked about it all the time and like what it felt like so if you talk about how you feel and how you felt before you started juice plus that is what people relate to because people buy feelings not ingredients so when you sign people up, guys, it's really important to know what their goals are so you can help them through their journey on the products because what our goal is to help make our customers is a raving fan because if you get a raving fan, what's going to happen is they're going to become a raving fan of the product, they're going to become a raving fan of you, and they're either going to become a referral so they're going to bring people to you, which means you then have the opportunity to give them a business opportunity or if they don't want to do that, fine, you know, then they can bring you new customers, which is incredible, right? So it's all about going above and beyond. And I know Amy and Jeanette are absolutely amazing at this. I know Claire Tully. There's so many of you that are amazing, amazing at being, you know, top of the game with your customers. So really have a think about, you know, what you're doing to go above and beyond for those customers. Um, you know, are you finding out their goals? How often are you speaking to them? So check in with them every week. Um, how many times do they want to check in with? So something that I always ask my customers when, I sign, when they sign up with me is how much do you want me to be in contact with you? Um, do you want to just message me once a week or you know, do you want to be in touch every single day? Like what is it that you want? Like or do you just want to be left alone? Sometimes people don't want the support. Sometimes people just want the product to go off on their own. But it's really nice for them to know that you're there to support them. So at the beginning, like obviously it's really important to you know, offer them a meal plan alongside with um, the products, get their progress pictures, because obviously what is this about? It's about getting results and visuals are so, so, so important. So make sure that they're sending you at least measurements or at least pictures of their skin if they've got bad skin, if they're comfortable. Um, you know, you can always say to them, you know, if you're not comfortable, keep them somewhere safe, pop them in a chat to yourself. Because what I found like at the beginning of this, you know, when we, when we were doing a lot of um, fat loss um, progress pictures and um, fat loss journeys was that people would take photos but then they would lose them um, so what's a really good thing to do is to get people to send them to themselves on Facebook so they don't ever lose their their photos so open a message to yourself and get them um, them to send them to themselves um, find out what their struggles are um, and celebrate their small wins. So every time that they lose a pound or every time that they feel a bit more confident or that they're wearing less makeup or, you know, what, whatever that their, their small wins are, you know, to really celebrate that and celebrate them on Facebook and in the support group. And then with the support group, guys, that is the absolute fundamental part of where our customers are at because that is where that you're going to see that they're going to be an amazing team member and again that starts with you guys so hold on guys so what you've got to know is that if you're not posting 
your customers are not going to post because people follow your feet and not your mouth. So if you're not posting your meals, if you're not giving like exercise ideas, like inspirations every single day, like think outside the box, what value would you want to see as a customer? If you were a customer, would you be inspired by how much you were posting and the value that you were giving in the support group? Really think about that because we're here to give people an experience and it's so much more than Juice Plus. We're there to become their, their friend and their mentor and that's how we build on those relationships and that's when we can then offer the, the business opportunity. You know, it's so much easier and it's so much more organic to be able to say to someone, look, you know, like I've been loving your posts. You had an incredible journey. You give so much value and I just think you'd be amazing at what we do rather than going, you know, oh, I've got something that you might be interested in you know, which definitely works, but it's so much more organic and it feels so much more natural. And yes, it's a longer process of getting people results and then into the business, but it's authentic. And I know that all the girls in my team who um, have been, you know, in the business for six years now, almost, you know, most of them started on the, the products and then got into the business afterwards because it's a natural progression of, you know, finding that inspiration with inside of yourself and feeling so good because, you know, once you've got that belief of like a 10 out of 10 on that product, on those products, you just want to share it and share them and uh, tell the world about it. And it's about being part of a community. People want that community feel, you know, so being in that support group is so, so, so key. Um, and not just that, um, you know, picking up the phone to customers is so amazing, guys. Like it's something that I've really started to do a lot more of this year. And it's so nice to hear because sometimes when you say to somebody, you know, how are you getting on? And they're like, yeah, fine. When you pick up the phone and they say, oh yeah, I'm all right. Like they're really not okay. And it's a really good way for you to be able to hear and to hear their voice and to know exactly like what's going on because they can sometimes say they're okay, but they're really not. So picking up that phone and building that relationship is really, really key as well. And being part of that community. So yeah, so I think and I believe and from what I know and from how I started the business and I know that how Aim started and Jeanette started and Claire Tully started, you know, Magsy started, we all started on the products, Maria Guova, you know, all of you guys, um, something that we all have in common is that, uh, you know, we start on the products and again, like there's nothing wrong with starting the business, you know, without having been on the products first, but it's just something that I really believe in because it made me feel like, I'm going to share this with everyone. I've got a 10 out of 10 on the products and I'm going to go and share this with everyone I know because of how it makes me feel. So yeah, so I just think um, for me, that's a top tip for me anyway. So if you're sitting there and you're struggling with like recruitment, um, you know, think about perhaps coming from a different angle and going out there and finding your customers and loving on those customers fully and loving on your customers um, before thinking about saying, oh, I've got something that might help you. Um, you know, there's a business opportunity getting them onto the products and helping them feel what it feels like to be on Juice Plus, you know, for 30 days um, is something that could really be di the difference between them being like a little bit successful and really successful. Um, like for example, I had a girl come to me last night and um, she, she really, really needs some money. She's really struggling for money. But I said to her, look, I think it's going to be more beneficial if you jump on the products for 30 days. Let's see, let's start your product story. Um, and let's see how you feel and and then join the business in 30 days and she was up for that you know and that's obviously going to help her get on the products we're going to get her a story and we're going to get her building on her products um adventure which is really really exciting so if anyone's got any questions um put them in the in the chat box if anyone's got any experiences of being on the products first or you know, if there's anything that you want to share then pop it in the comments box um but i think that's it Ames, have you got anything that you want to share about customers babe I just, I just agree with everything that you're saying and you know a lot of my there's a lot of my team is that were customers first as well but then equally obviously there are some people that join the business and the products at the same time but I think you know either way it's understanding and stressing that you know our products are amazing and we're, no matter how they start their journey even if they do, they do the business and the products at the same same time it starts with them getting on the products mm -hmm. getting on the plan and start to share that journey so it really you know, even if somebody does do the business and the products at the same time, it kind of starts with being a customer anyway to build up. Then they're going to start to build up their customer base by sharing their, their own experience and their own results through being on their own journey. So, you know, it's absolutely amazing. And, you know, actually, guys, like, invite your customers to come onto the weekly opportunity calls. Mm -hmm. Like, why would you not do that? You know, actually invite them on. You know, this may or may not be for you. You know, I don't know. But, you know, I'd love to invite you onto our team call tonight. You're going to learn more about our amazing products. Like, Worst case, they're going to they're gonna learn more about our products. 
you know, they might upgrade to a premium capsule or they might add the boosters or something because obviously we go through all the products so well or they're mm -hmm. going to be like blown away because they're going to really understand more about how amazing our products are, you know, and then we know that it takes at least five exposures. So, you know, they might see the business, they might watch the rest of the live and see the business. And I might just sow a little seed for them and they might just watch a little bit more, you know, and then they could become a team member eventually. So, you know, that's the worst that's going to happen. So I'm going to definitely start inviting my customers to the weekly opportunity because I'm just going to, I'm just going to drop them a message every week and just invite them on and just see if they fancy taking a look. Um, you know, and a great question that you can ask your customers is, you know, that they can obviously, if they want to sign up to the business, even, you know, if someone's on a gold package or if they're on a decent package, you know, they can get, they can start off by getting 10% of that back, you know, because as we know, we start off at 10% commission. So, you know, they, a great way for you to say, you know, look, why don't you just join the business, buy your own franchise, you know, because you're going to get 10% off that. You're going to get 10% back, um, you know, on, on everything that you're ordering. And you're going to save some money. That's a great way for some people to start off. You know, they may then start to process a couple of friends or family's orders here and there. You know, again, that's the worst that can happen. You know, or they then, you know, they might then want to go on and then start to do it more. Because, like, you know, obviously, as you guys know, when I first started the business, all I wanted at the very beginning was to earn enough to pay for my products. So it's amazing how much you can then, you then get into the business, you can get onto the Zoom calls, and you're like, oh, we can have more from this. I want more. So then it grows from there. So that's a, that's a great way. You know, and if somebody's having, like, amazing results with the product, with the products, you know, they say to them, like, you know, you've got an amazing story to tell. You've got amazing um, results from the products. And say to them, have you ever considered, you know, joining my team and help get the, I can help you get the word out to earn, you know, to earn some extra income. So, yeah, you've, you've got an amazing results on the products. You've got an amazing story to tell. Have you ever considered joining my team? You know, I can help you get the word out. You know, it's going to help you earn a little bit of extra income and you can help other people feel as good as you do. You know, these are the sort of things that you can say to your customers and um, you know like Millie said this can be a bit of a slower process you know getting customers supporting them building your friend your relationship I mean a lady said yesterday that sometimes you you can get, <laughs> she said that um, you can actually be careful because you can actually get too friendly with your customers you can actually kind of get friend zoned where you actually feel frightened or to actually offer them the business which I think is also really important because you can kind of get so friendly with them, you're friend zoned and then you actually feel like you can't offer them the business. So someone said that at the event yesterday and I think that's also quite true as well. Um, but yeah, just customer care is everything, guys. You know, they're going to get you referrals. They're going to, you know, they could become team members. They're going to, um, they can become like a re reoccurring customer, which is obviously really important. You know, when we get our customers, we really want to look after them and give them the best experience so that they reorder. You know, and I do get quite a lot of customers that want to upgrade or, you know, I'm, all, I'm always telling my customers about what other products we have available. So, you know, the summer bundle, I've, been, I've really messaged all my customers and told them all about the summer bundle last month, you know, just to see if they want to, um, you know, make most of the, uh, you know, the sale because it's such a saving. Even if people have got reorders coming up, I'm telling them about the summer bundle, um, you know, and just always giving people the option to like upgrade or would you like to add this? Would you like to add that? Um, because people, you know, it's a bit like if you're at a restaurant and the waiter, wait, the waiter comes around and says, would you like another drink? So, and then you'll be like, no, you don't, cause you don't need it at that time. But then like, once you've had your starter and then 10 minutes later, you're like, damn it. I could have really done with that drink now. Like I do that all the time. I'm like, damn, I so should have got another drink <laughs> because like the first time I wasn't ready, but the second time I'm like really thirsty and I really want another drink. So it's the same with your customers. It's the same with anybody. Like, you know, they could be ready the, the second time. So, I'm actually going to message all my customers again this month and tell them about the summer bundle again. Um, you know, like maybe sort of more towards like the mid to the end of the month and just let them know, like, you know, did you know the summer bundle is actually extended? You know, I know I mentioned this to you last month, but you know, I just didn't know if, if um, it was something that you wanted to, to do this month, you know, just want to let you know, because all we are guys, we're just messengers, you know, it's our job just to let them know and people don't always see our posts. So we need to reach out to them and actually let them know. So, um so yeah i think that's that's it really um referrals reorders and upgrades you know if you've got someone on the berries you know tell them that they can upgrade to the to the amigas and the berry capsule uh, sorry the premium you know, tell them about the other things that we do um i did like an amiga face mask live with louise the other night and that was really good and i think again a lot of people don't actually realize 
how versatile our products are and that you can make face masks with the Amigas and that even with the berry capsules, you can, you can mix a berry capsule with a bit of coconut oil and put that on your face. And that also works really, really well. So, you know, show this, tell your customers about it. And obviously we know how versatile all our other products are as well. You know, like different ways of making the shakes and everything like that. So yeah, back to you in Bali, Millie. <laughs> 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 what are you like miss pickle <laughs> okay um yeah like totally amazing it's all about customers guys and like we all know like how amazing our products are right like we can be raving about that every single day like we're so lucky to have these products guys um you know and it's something that you know, if you're not showcasing if you're not shouting about every day then people might just not know you know how many people do you have that are on the premium capsules that might not actually know about the healthy starts for families you know that's an amazing amazing incentive that you can upgrade people to for no extra money no extra money you know and, yeah. and obviously you know that you can say to them it doesn't have to be for um it doesn't have to be for their own children it can be your friends kids it can be your nieces your nephews it can be somebody like random you know at school if you've got um a child that won't eat your eat their um chewables you can offer it to another child you know there's always a way to find people to help so um so yeah Right guys, so there was an amazing event yesterday over in Essex um, and from what I know that there was some, some absolutely incredible um, information speakers. So what we're going to do now, um, we're going to get a few people on to share some top tips um, from what they had, from what they heard from the day. So I'm actually going to bring Magsy on um, to give her top three tips of what you found from the event. Are you there, Maxie, my lovely? Yes. I'm here. Hello, Mills. How are you? You okay? Good, yo. Thank you very much. I just want to say, I, I'm so inspired by you. Four o'clock in the morning, and you, you know, comparing to all of us who had a day, and you look brilliant. So, uh, you are just amazing. I'm just amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mills. <laughs> okay alrighty how the hell do I say three tips of the day that we had I mean oh my soul um, so I know Amy and her team will probably give loads and loads and loads so um, I, I make myself a little bit ready for a few things but I'm going to try to to stay to the three um, first of all Danny and Ross I love the love, um, the unity of them as a couple and just, you know, what they achieved, like Danny said, every event, they wanted to have a different position in the company, um, pr another promotion, that was their goal. And um, I just love how they explained about their routine. They look at their why, they understand if, you know, if the other one is late on, on the phone, um, you know, challenging times with a, with family times and things that they know they why. Um, the same like with their vision and their mission and their whole routine, their consistency every day with their team. Like they would get up, you know, they will say their affirmations together. I just I just love love the um, their worth ethic and the unity unity there. And um, um, yeah, just back to all the things that we probably heard. At so many previous events, you know, wake up as a dealer every morning, you mm. know, and um, yeah, and, and the achievements. It's so lovely, you know, we know what a, how much hard work it is. And then to see where they started, um, both their stories and then the achievements. So, yeah, I just think that that, that, is, that that is such a beautiful story for them as a couple. Um, then um, the... The, the Instagram queens was also good. Um, and I, I took away some of the points because we're all, always with these events. Again, we get tips, but you still miss something. So I went back and I changed those things, which I think is very valuable. And I'm sure somebody will, will go on to that. Um, but if I can just say something like they say, story, story, stories. You know, when people connect with you, or like your story or react to your story that that goes right into your inbox and that's a direct connection for you to their inbox and then you know you get get access to them and it's a 
opening another world to their friends, basically. Um, and then this girl, Nicole Ball, she's um, 25. She's a QMD. I, what I love, love, love about this company, this girl worked at, Mado at McDonald's. And, you know, the life that she's building for herself. And I loved her because she was so natural. She was so authentic. And the... I don't think she's done every, any public speech, speaking before, but she was such a natural as well. But her life story of from where she was and where she was going just by having a good work, working ethic and having three children, that, that was just amazing. And the tips that she gave on Facebook as, as well. And she was, again, like finding your tribe to attract um, attraction marketing, you know, like, um, what do you feel like on a Friday night? You know, like she would show a photo with a box of chocolates and um, and a bottle of champagne, you know, in front of the tally or something, something that's applicable to her with and her tribe. Um, and yeah, she just she just spoke about the power of excitement every time you post, um, being real, um, and um. Yeah, and just showing you working towards a goal and be real and be consistent and then show again on Facebook when, when you achieve that. And then lastly, um, it's Katie that was, um, she, she went to SEC in four months time and she was um, converting customers to, um, to, to, to teamies. And again, Mulch, you would love her thing because it's so much of what you just said really really very much the same um, and really looking after your customers expect you know look look what they what what are they expecting from the product you know make tailor-made packages for them make them feel special work and love on them and then you know you get a great team and there's so much more to say but that's what I'm gonna say so and then much. of course Simon yeah <laughs> so much so can, it must be so hard to condense an amazing day down into a, such a short space of time but yeah absolutely like I think I think waking up as a dealer every single day. Amy and I had a, a really long chat yesterday <laughs> for like three hours. <laughs> um, and uh, we said like, you know, we like, wake up every day as a dealer. Like this is what we're passionate about. You know, just because we're at, you know, higher positions, it doesn't mean that we don't work. If we wake up every day with that fire inside of us, you know, you know, you've got to wake up with that inside of you guys. If you want to be successful, you know, wake up as if you're starting the business new every single month and go, how can I do this? Who can I help? How can I build this business? Um, so Maxi, thank you. They were amazing tips from the day. Thank you so, so much. So Amy, I'm going to pass over to you. And I know you've got some girls coming on to speak and you've got some tips to share too. Yeah, definitely. So I'm going to pass straight over to some of my girls because I know they're really keen to share what they um, have taken from the day. And then I'll fill in the blanks because you all get a bit... Like, you hear me every week, so I'll pass over to some of my diamonds. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get uh, Wendy on first because I know that she's got some amazing um, little things to share. So what I'll do... Wendy, if you can unmute yourself and if you could just share with everybody like what was your biggest takeaway from the day yesterday hi can you hear me okay yeah i can hear you uh, just so much to try and condense down i've got so i've got my pad here with like pages and pages of notes on and very much um what you've just mentioned about going back to being a dealer was one of my big takeaways just i think starting every day you know with you know going back remember when you first started I think I wrote down this is one of the things that I wrote down was why who what and where you know your why your who who are you you know what do you want and where are you going and I think you know I've only been in the business for 18 months but actually you know remembering my why and remembering how I started off and just waking up every day I think that was a, like we all I think all, three, all four of us have said about being you know remembering <clears throat> starting off as a dealer every day was a really big takeaway um another couple of things that um I sort of related to um was the vision board now I know we all talk about the vision board an awful lot and um I've never really made a proper vision board and it's my my goal this week to actually get a, a, a vision board up you know and I actually have that imprinted in my mind because I think you know the the power of gratitude and the power of belief 
in this business, you know, the mindset is everything. And um, I wrote down a couple of notes of, you know, holding that vision with faith and purpose. I think that's what, you know, for me um, is key. Um, you know, it's, you know, we can actually have whatever we want. You know, it's all there, you know, in the universe. It's, also, it's actually scientific, all of this. I'm not going to get technical, but I'm reading a really interesting book at the moment. Um, about formless substance and that we are the thinking substance you know we can actually think here positively about what we want so i think the vision board that they were talking about you know the fact they have this family vision board you know for all of the family to see um is you know was really really great energy um i think just that you know this business is a platform for our voice for us to shine our light and to remember you know we have something amazing to offer um and finally just I think one of the very last slides up was how many people there are in the world. Seven and a half billion. We need five. We actually need five people. So when you look at it like that, in that perspective, it's like, whoa, you know, let's not overthink this here. I don't have to be, you know, this, um, you know, recruiting machine. I just need, you know, five amazing, five amazing people. You know, I think I totally agree with what you're saying about your customers, you know, the customers that you've nurtured, that you've looked after, you know, will probably make your best team is i mean i know you know my one of my team is camilla you know she was a customer and she's just a great girl so um yeah i'm so excited it was just brilliant it was just having fun seeing the energy the friendship all of us together this is millie i know you're over in bali but and i know you can probably pick up all the energy but we just had such fun we really did and i think the friendships and the confidence building was just amazing i just loved it loved every minute Mm -hmm. I think it's really important to remember, thank you so much, Wendy, that I just wanted to add to that, is that it's at the event where the magic happens, right? Like, can you just explain to everyone, like, the difference that it feels between, like, sitting on here and actually going to an event? Like, how does it feel different? Oh, my goodness. It's, it's just so different. I think, I think being in a room, whether it's, I mean, I, I was in Barcelona, you know, and there was, like, 8,000 people there. That was just incredible it was just insane um but even on a much smaller scale yesterday i think there was like two or three hundred people there in quite a small room but yeah i think it just i think i know we've all said it over and over again but you know, if you can get to an event even if it's for a coffee catch up with a, with a group of you or you know a power day uh, i know we've got edinburgh to look forward to in november it really i think it just transforms your because you hear from everyday girls you know you hear all of the different stories you know you hear from people that have had a really rough start you've heard from people that have got you know one thing that really struck me yesterday there were so many single mums there so many single mums you know um who have fought back you know they've fought back and you know have renewed their confidence and have empowered themselves and that to me is you know one of the things that i really try and reach out to my tribe is actually empowering yourself as a woman and i'm not you know i know the business is for men and women but actually just giving yourself a purpose you know having something and that when you go to an event you're all there you're all there with that energy and it, it is actually so powerful that's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sorry, Ames, just totally overtaken. But the that's end. That's the worst thing. Thank you. <laughs> literally, I've just literally just got goosebumps from your energy, Wendy. Like literally, you are amazing. Aww. Thank you so so much um, for sharing that. And like, yeah, I can literally, literally, my arms, all the hair on my arms just literally stood up on end. Come on, girl. Your energy because <laughs> you got me all excited. <laughs> Thank you so much, Wendy. So we're going to get on uh, Meg now. So Meg, could you unmute yourself, my lovely, and share what was your biggest takeaway from the day yesterday? Can you hear me all right? Yeah. Yeah, it's all working. Okay. Um, so like, I just want to say Amy, you did an amazing job, by the way. Like, I know how nervous you were before you went up and you did so well. Like, I don't know how. And even when you said, um, I'm going to get some of the diamonds up now, me and Frankie literally were like shaking and I know I didn't go up but like I just felt it for Frankie I felt it for you um but you both did like really well so um my favorite bit for me personally was um the building on Instagram and that's just because I know that's something I need to work on personally um so I took like loads of tips away from that bit um and they said about sharing your life 
on Instagram on like the stories. So for me, I know I was putting a lot of Juice Plus on there and they said like some days they don't even post like Juice Plus stuff. They just post what they are doing. And I think for me, I don't know if any of you guys are like it, like you overcomplicate it. And it's like literally just go out and live your life and share it on Instagram. That's literally what they were saying. That's how simple it is. Go live your life and just post about it. Um, so doing like the videos where you, you don't even have to show your face if you don't want to. But like if you're walking the dog or if you're out with family having a picnic, just video it. Um, and they also said um, like for me, because I suffered with acne and um, like that's a major thing for me so I always wear makeup a lot of the time I always have to have my eyebrows done always have to have my hair done and stuff where now the last couple of months I'm like I don't care anymore um and a lot of people I think are relating to that and that's what they were saying yesterday um when you do lives some people um think about it and they want to write it down what they're going to say they want to plan it just count to five and press live and just go with it no matter what you look like, people then are going to relate. You haven't like written a script or anything. So your personality will come out more and then people will start to trust you a bit more. Um, and you know, they'll trust you and order from you or want to join your team because they'll feel like they know you. Um, also another one that they said about, um, relating is like, we don't always have to be happy. We're human. Um, so obviously our products give us energy and they help with our energy levels and things like that. But if you're having a down day, still post about it because it doesn't matter because we're human and just, you know, people will relate to that. Um, the second one, um, I used them today actually was they gave us some apps that, um, can make your Instagram stories and your Facebook stories just look a little bit more professional. Um, also the photos that you post on Instagram, um, like make the color pop a little bit. So people, uh, will, you potentially get more likes cause they just, it, um, they say like humans are like bumblebees and we like color. So, um, you know, making the color pop a little bit and they'll stop and look at it a little bit more. Um, so there was some apps that I can like put in the chat if you guys want, I'll just put the names of them cause I've downloaded them all and they're all really good. So I'll put them in the chat if you guys want them. Um, and the third one was, um, your bio in your Instagram. Um, it needs to identify you. So like today I've really like sat down and thought, who am I? Um, and you should be putting that in your bio on your Instagram so that when people come to your page, they're going to know what they're going to see on your Instagram. They're going to know what they're watching. So if like for me, I've put like fitness, health, um, student, um, all those type of things, like, because that's me and I want people um, who are my tribe. So if you're trying to attract your tribe, you want people, um, to follow you and see who you are straight away. So um, they're the three main things that I took away from the event. Um, but yeah, the events are key. And um, I had my first uh, teamy that came along today and uh, today, yesterday, sorry. <laughs> and um, we were driving back in the car and she just said like the atmosphere is amazing. And I think for her seeing um, everyone there, made her realize actually she can go for it it really makes you feel like everyone is normal there you can just run with it and you can be on that stage if you want so um yeah they are amazing yeah definitely meg absolutely love that thank you so much um and i just wanted to add a couple of things because i think that some of the tips you shared about you know the because they literally did a five-step guide didn't they on how to recruit on instagram so it was literally epic and, um, you know, like Megan said, like identify you, but I just want to say that there's actually 1 billion users on Instagram and it's actually the fastest growing social media at the moment. And it's all about storytelling, which we are good at. And, you know, like, like Megan said, like, just live your life. Like, don't overthink it. 
Because if you're on plan and you're using the products, it's easy. Because what you're going to do is you're going to wake up in the morning. What you're going to do, you're going to take your capsules. You're going to have your shake, post about it. Go out for a walk, post about it. You know, like, like exactly like what Megan said. And it's so, so true. Like you shouldn't have to overthink anything. You should just, you know, go and live your life and post about it. And yes, I love that, what you said, Megan. And um, they said that they use words. So like they were talking about doing like direct and non-direct recruitment posts. But for a direct recruitment post, they'd use things like looking for brand ambassadors. So even like using the word brand ambassador um, can appeal a lot more people because a lot more people like the idea of becoming a brand ambassador. Like everybody wants to be a brand ambassador now. So actually using the word like brand ambassador will help you um, get more interest for your team, for joining your team. Um, and another one that they used was um, social media bloggers. So yeah, like social media bloggers wanted. So that's another one that you can use, like another like keyword that you can use. Um, that again, it makes it a lot more appealing. Um, but yeah, that was it. Thanks Meg, I just wanted to add that on. <laughs> but yeah, amazing Meg. And I, I know that Alicia was really excited as well. And it's just, this is what I love. I love, I feel like a bit like a mother duckling. Honestly, no, a mother with all my ducklings. No, I do. I don't know how that sounds. But like seeing like little Alicia come along for the first time and seeing she's like a little baby duckling and like she's gonna like grow into a swan soon. Like, I'm gonna shut up now. But you know what I mean? Like, Meg, you must feel it. You feel like really proud, don't you? You're like, and then like she's the, it's just so lovely to see. <laughs> Yeah, I know what I mean. I think it's because um, she's quite shy in a way at the moment. And you can just see that she's like going to blossom. So, yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thanks. You saved me there. <laughs> Niels, is there anything you want to add to that? Um, just amazing tips like Megan, like your confidence is incredible. Like your speaking is incredible. Like you've only just gone STD, right? like really really amazing like thank you for stepping up and sharing your tips like incredible um you know you're a really amazing speaker but um yeah i just got some really good tips from that i think you know um i think you know if, if you don't feel confident on on instagram um don't feel pressured to do it um but we know that you know instagram it's a great platform it's very similar to facebook in how it's, it's just like there's just a few different obviously ways of, of posting it's just like getting to learn it and you know over the years when when amy and i first started there was only facebook there was only facebook so you know we were limited just to facebook but now we've got all these different social media platforms so find your favorites and work with them um and obviously instagram is so easy to connect with anyone in your tribe because you just have to find that buzzword hashtag it and go and find all the people that have hashtagged that buzzword you know whatever it is whether it's horsey girl whether it's fitness girl whether it's um broke um i like looking up broke af i'm sure you all know what that uh stands for <laughs> um but just words that um that I think that people will be related to. When I'm looking for customers on Instagram, the other thing that I look for is like um, fast food junkie or Domino's or takeaway or Friday night takeaway or something like that because they're the people that are buying takeaways that might need better health, right? So think outside the box, guys, and um, think about the opposite to what you're trying to attract because, you know, if, you're, if you, you don't want to find, we might do, but like I know that I want to find people that need my help and you know want our products so what's the opposite to being healthy what's the opposite to you know having freedom and so i go and look for those things on on instagram it's a little tip for you there so yeah so thank you megan yeah amazing amazing tips love that i love that little tip millie i'm going to use that i've never done that before like searching for a broke hashtag whatever so that's a really good tip you know, um, like dominoes so like i always look up domino's pizza you know and i, and I look for people who are eating domino's pizza and That's your tribe. <laughs> so next and lastly we're gonna last but not least we're gonna get uh, my mum on and I'm sure that she's got some amazing tips because I don't really think even many of us have covered much about Simon Mitchell yet so um yeah mum can you unmute yourself and share what was your what, what some of your biggest takeaways from yesterday right when will I start girls when will I start? <laughs> So yeah, as you've all said, it was an absolutely amazing time. I absolutely loved it. It's lovely to all get together. You've got to get to the event. That's the difference between being at the fun fair or being in a simulator. 
It really, really is. At, at the fun fair, it's just amazing. But a simulator is pretty good. The Zoom calls are pretty good, but getting there is absolutely amazing. So I'm going to try and rip through these pretty quickly because a couple of things that were said, consistency isn't rocket science. It's just bloody commitment, girls. Come on. That's what it is, okay? Ask yourself um, two questions. Where do you find your customers and where do you find your teamies? Okay, you need to be able to know that pretty quickly. If you don't, then you need to go and find out how or why you can do that. Um, you must bring it energy and excitement to your wall and to your story. That's so important too, and have fun with it. There was lots of tips um, about Instagram, and I've tried to dabble in at Instagram, and like Millie has just said, don't feel pressurized to do it. Um, and I just want you all to know that you're better off concentrating on one platform and getting that right before you move on to another. Um, now I use Instagram purely because I like the text on the story that I can then, so I do my story on Instagram, but I don't actually chase anything off my story unless it's obvious because I want to focus on Facebook, but I like the way Instagram does their story and I take it across to Facebook. So um, don't feel pressurized to do that. Um, you must be using your story, guys. If you're not using your story, it is paramount to use your story as much as possible. You've got all those views that you can go and check in with. Um, the other thing that you must do, and that I've picked up on this particular weekend, is react to your friends' stories or react to other people's stories a lot more. Um, and maybe be a little bit more direct with people, um, you know, if they're saying something that they're struggling with or whatever, you know, get to them and say, you know, I might have something for you. Um, because what you've got to remember, yes, we have got to build relationships. We have got to ask questions. I know that. But we've got to cut the chase and we've got to find the yes or no's first. Um, you've got to remember that if you're posting on Facebook well enough or on your social media well enough, you are already already building that relationship. People are already, they already know you. Um, you know, you've got something that you can help them with and we must find out what their, what, their, what their problems are. If they're posting about their problems on social media, then we need to help them because we are problem solvers and we're storytellers. Um, I'm really diving about here all over the place, guys, so I'm really sorry, but I'm trying to keep it quick. Um, your job is to invite people to an opportunity call. Make sure that you realize that. If you're not using these opportunity calls as well as you should, then you, should, you, you need to do that as much as possible. Your job is to um, get as many people as you can onto the opportunity calls every week and follow up with them religiously week after week after week until you get a no from them. Um, Another thing they've said is very early on in your relationship with your customer, with your person that's about to give you their card details or anything, make sure they know there's an amazing opportunity behind this because so many people are on the product and they daren't think that they're going to, they daren't think they're going to be able to join the business because they're going to take it away from you. And they need to know that you would love them to join their business to do, sorry, to join your business. If you're a hairdresser and you're gonna set up a hairdressing shop next door to another hairdressing shop, you wouldn't go in there and ask them for all their tips. But this is why this business is so different because we want people to join our team and we have to invite them. Um, one particular thing that, going on to Simon, I mean, he was just, he just blew me away to be perfectly honest. Um, he's, his passion, his knowledge, and what he can offer to us is absolutely amazing. Um, one particular thing he said that there's, he had a breakout event afterwards, and we spent a bit of time there. I don't know if some of you couldn't do that because you had to go, and was asking questions. Um, and it was lovely to listen to all the other questions that other people were asking and what was going on and such like. But he said there's three main things as to why your business isn't flying. So you need to ask yourself these questions and it is, you're not consistent enough. You're not sharing it with enough people and you're not closing. So one of those things 
is one of the reasons why you're not smashing your business. Um, only you'll know that, and you don't need to share it with anyone else, but you can ask yourself those questions. I thought that was really good. And there was something else that he said that I wanted to share with you, and I can't see it on my notes. Um, oh, I know what it was. He also said, everyone's really lonely. Um, we're in a society at the moment that loves to watch others. They love to people watch. They love to watch EastEnders, uh, soap operas, talent shows, including the stories on the talent shows. Why do you think in the stories in the talent shows, they put these little story bits about the people? Because they know people love to watch stories. And we've been given by the social media platforms these two, this amazing ability to be able to post our stories or post on stories, should I say. And we need to make sure that we use that as much as possible because you'll find that people are lonely and we've got the answer to that. Um, people are sitting at home, possibly scrolling through Facebook, um, beside a partner they don't want to be there with anymore, with the children that they're fed up with, with the society and life that they're totally fed up with. And there we are having an amazing time, guys. So we need to reach out to these people. We need to remember why we joined and why we were feeling like that. Um, it's also important to realize that a lot of the tips that we've got from this weekend are basics that we really already know. And it's just really lovely to hear those basics again and say, oh yeah, I remember that. I remember the shake parties. You know, I remember the coffee catch-ups. These are all things that all of us can do so very easily. Um, finally, the last thing I just want to, want to finish with is, what is the story that you keep telling yourself in your head that's holding you back from your dream life and smashing this business? So I'd like you to just write that down if you would, if you weren't at the event. What's your story you're telling yourself in your head that's holding you back from your dream life? Because there's an answer to it and there's a question, there's, there's, that can be sorted out and that can be helped because really that, that story isn't really as important as what you think it is. It's a story that you're repeatedly telling yourself. Um, and I just want you guys to realize that. And um, Simon had three people stand up and offer what theirs was and he had solutions for it. And um, they were really quite mind blowing actually and quite amazing. So I'll leave you with that. I'm super excited for the future. As always, I absolutely love what we have to offer. I love the dream team. I love the diamond dreamers. I love what we've got going here, guys. And we've got a community that everyone wants to be part of. We've just got to go ahead and find them. Love that. Woo woo! Mills, is there anything you want to add? <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, wow, Jeanette, your energy is amazing. Like, you inspire <laughs> me so much. Thank you so much for coming on and sharing those things. I know it's hard to condense everything down, but you know, guys, like, there's so many golden nuggets that happen at these events that, like, you know, it's, it's light bulb moments. And, you know, I think that what's your story that you've got inside your head that's holding you back from your dream? It's so true that like everything that we think is just a story and it's, it's something that we play over and over again of who we are because actually we've got, we've got the potential to be anything that we want to be. It's just about the story that you tell yourself. You know, if, if sometimes there's people that say, oh, you know, well, I can't do that. That's a, that's a story. You know, you can do anything. It's just what you, you're willing to do and how much you really want your dreams to come true and how much you really want that better life. Um, you know, so you can change your story and tell yourself that, that you're going to live your dream life through doing Juice Plus and through sharing it, you know, with only five people, that's all you need. I mean, I know that's something that he spoke about yesterday, um, is through, you know, there's how many people on there's in the world, Amy, like 7 billion people and 3 billion are on social media, 1 billion are on Instagram. And, you know, we need five people, five guys, just five. And Amy was saying to me yesterday, that you, you know, don't let negative, negative dawn down the road stop you from, you know, doing your business. Don't let her stop you from, you know, making your dreams come true. It's all about 
you know, believing what you want to believe and not letting other people's opinions stop you in your tracks. You know, because we're all here for a reason. Don't let one or two people out of all the people that you know stop you from doing what you really want to do. Um, so guys, thank you so much for the tips tonight. Thank you for speaking. Um, just before we go, we've got some really cool stuff that we want to share with you. Um, I have just seen a post in the NMD group, by the way, which I'm so excited about. Um, so on the 20th of August, this is so cool. We've got new product nutrition sessions. Um, I've only just seen this. It's only just popped up on my, on my, um, in my group um for me so it says there's a first session um starts off on tuesday the 20th and it's going to be the origin of juice plus and we've got a nutritionist who's coming in and doing monthly sessions with us um and it's going to be on zoom so i'm going to post that within in the team group and aims you might have seen that already it's not something that i've seen um so apologies to my guys because I've not actually seen that yet. Um, it was posted a couple of days ago. But yeah, we've got amazing product nutrition monthly sessions coming with the company, which is absolutely amazing. Um, the other events that we've got coming up is the NMD factory in September, which is in Bath, which is going to be epic. And I know that's going to be um, an event really not to be missed. That's going to be a, a, a really, really super event. So if you didn't manage to get to Essex, um, then this is definitely one to get to. It's a real good springboard for, um, you know, just on the way to Edinburgh. Um, and then we've also got on the 14th of September, the Power Day in Maidstone, um, which is a really good local event for all the guys kind of down Brighton Way and also over kind of in Essex, over that way. Like it's, it's a really good location. It's not like up north you know, where a lot of the events usually are. So that's going to be another really good event to get to. That's company led and um, Mateus is going to be there. Um, Sinead Kevin is speaking there. There's going to be some really good speakers. Um, so that's one not to miss as well. Um, so, and then obviously we've got Edinburgh, which is going to be super, super exciting. Um, so if you've not booked your flights and your hotels, then start thinking about that one. Um, what date in September is, which, which one aims? Uh, the one in Bath, sorry. The one in Bath is the 11th of September. So it's literally four weeks away. 11th. 11th of September, yeah. So it's the same. So it's a month from uh, the Essex event, uh, which, yeah, it's going to be amazing. Um, it's going to be very... Um, there's lots of emotions behind that event. Like, there's going to be some incredible speakers. Um, and it's... But, yeah, it's basically loads and loads and loads of NMDs from all walks of life coming and sharing their stories and top tips. So it's going to be epic. Um, yeah, and then we've got, yeah, Edinburgh. So Ames and I are planning something very special for you guys on the Friday night um, of Edinburgh. So Ames, talk to me about dates again, babe. It's the... Um, um, 9th and 10th of November, Edinburgh, 9th, is that the one? Yep, yeah, so 9th and 10th is the convention. So we're going to get there on the Friday. I might get there a day or two before, actually. Um, and then... Um, yeah, on the Friday night on the 8th, we're going to arrange something for you guys to all come and get involved in. So make sure that you're there with plenty of time to come and get involved in our little shindig uh, that we're going to put together for you guys. Um, we've done it before. We're going to have so much fun. Um, literally can't wait to see all of you guys. Um, so yeah, that's on. And then, believe it or not, Amy Turner and I have been planning a Christmas party for you guys. <laughs> Because what happens every year is that it becomes too late, everyone's busy, and you know, people aren't free. So we're gonna give you the date so you've got no excuses not to come. And we've got an absolutely amazing um little get together put together for all of you guys, and all of you are welcome. Um we need to obviously know numbers because we are depending on how many people come, we are planning to get an Airbnb and we're gonna have a sleep overnight. Um, we've, we've looked at some properties, um, which are absolutely amazing at the moment. Like it's between like 25 and 35 pounds for the night for all of us. That's for about 20 plus people. Um, I've looked at some properties and they're insane. So if you want to come and get involved, we're going to do, I think we're going to go, we might order some, order a takeaway in or something and just sit in, have some drinks and spend time together um, and have like a sleep overnight drink, put our PJs on. Um, guys are welcome as well if you want to come and have a PJ party. Um, 
and we're going to do like a secret Santa. We're going to have some like drinking games, not like crazy drinking games, obviously, but like some bubbles and um, some music and all kinds of amazing stuff. Maybe some like awards for you guys. Um, so yeah, we're super excited. So Ames, do you want to just add anything just before we jump off? I'm excited. I'm excited for pajama party. Um, that would be really good. Um, there was a, something I wanted to cover just to say before we went. I think you've covered all the dates that are up and coming. Um, yeah, just just wanted to just touch a little bit on Simon Mitchell yesterday because just like we, like Mum said, you know, I thought that it was absolutely amazing what he said and like staying behind for the Q and A afterwards was was absolutely amazing as well. Um, so picked up a couple of little things from that and. You know, like he said, you know, do what you love. So, you know, I know that we've spoken about using Instagram and that tonight. But like if you, you know, if you hate Instagram or if you struggle with Instagram or you don't like it, like then don't use Instagram. Use Facebook. If you love Facebook, use Facebook. But if you love Instagram, then use Instagram. Like this is what Simon Mitchell was saying, you know, it's so easy to kind of get into comparison mode and try and do everything. And, um, you know, do what you love. You know, like I say, if you feel like you've got to be on Instagram, but you hate Instagram, don't be on Instagram. <laughs> like, that's what he was saying. It, like, really resonated with me. So, you know, and there was a lady there, like, Gemma Lee Hunt, you know, she asked, and, you know, apparently everyone was telling her, like, you know, why are you not on Instagram? You need to be using Instagram. But she didn't really like Instagram. But, you know, she actually built to NMD just by using Facebook. So, you know, what I'd actually, you know, if you are struggling with, you know, trying to do everything or if you, you know, so basically what Simon says was like, you know, do what you love and just focus on that and streamline it, streamline it. Don't feel like you've got to do everything because if you are struggling for time, you know, be better, you'll be better off putting all your focus into doing what you love. Um, crack that, you know, and then do more or add more in as the time goes on. So I think that was, that was a really, really big thing for me. So yeah, do find what you love doing. And he said he called this the perfect strategy. So find what you love doing, you know, whether that's Facebook, Instagram, whatever it is, you know, connect and find your tribe. You know, we all know about our tribe. We can talk more about that, but I think you pretty much know all about your tribe. You know, be consistent and persistent and, you know, build those relationships. So get into the story and connect with people in the story for a few days, you know, add new people, connect onto their story. And a few days later, ask if they're open to the opportunity. That's what he's saying that the, you know the strategy is so um yeah just absolutely amazing and just what really really resonated with me was that <laughs> you know there, there was a couple of people there that were struggling with negativity and you know someone was just like you're really gonna let dawn down the road stop you from achieving your goals like there's 7.8 billion people in the world and you're worried about dawn that doesn't get it like we're all there are gonna be people that don't get it like, do you know, that just really made me laugh. Like, oh yeah, like what? Like when you put it into that perspective, you know, it's crazy. And like, you know, like, like Millie said, like we only need five, you know, like five, five people when you can be in an MD, PMD. So when you realize that guys, like, it's so bloody exciting. And just one thing I want to leave you with actually is he says there's, um, where is it? He says there's, oh, where is it? There's, oh yeah, so he says that you can either be, there's two distributors, there's two different types of distributors. So the first one is reactive, which means that you're always waiting for a leader to tell you what to do. Or there's proactive, where you take ownership of your own future success, and you take ownership over your own business. So he was saying that he was encouraging us all to all be proactive. So I think that's really, really important. So I'm going to leave you with that thought. Pass back to Mills. I love it. Thank you so much, Ames. Like, thanks all so much for jumping on. And I forgot to tell you the date for the Christmas party. Oh my God. Oh yeah, the 14th. 14th of December, guys. Put it in your diaries. Tell everyone. Tell your teams. Um, it's gonna. We're just going to have so much fun. It's going to be brilliant. Um, Mills, I know that we are like over time, but I, I know that we still needed to do our Wahoo each, but I really still want to do mine. But what do you think? What does everyone think? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, you want to do mine? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Okay. Shall I go then? Yeah, do it, do it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I want to give, like, a really, really massive shout out to this person because they're literally been, like, working so hard, so consistent. They're always getting on the calls. And, like I say, I this is why I really want to do this 
uh, this week because, like, I really want to give them a shout out and give them some recognition that they deserve because like I'm really proud of them and um, you know they're always adding people to the opportunity group you know always just even though when they get setbacks they always just come back fighting and I'm just so believe in this person's future and I'm really really excited for where they're going to go because I know they're like you know they're going to keep going and I'm just so so proud of her so I want to give a massive shout out to Laura Brown <laughs> Laura I'm so proud of you I know that you're working super hard like you're always literally adding so many people to the opportunity group and I'm so proud of you and I know that if you just keep going you're going to literally just keep smashing it my lovely so massive well done I don't know do you just want to unmute yourself and just tell us about you know what just quickly like what you're excited about bless her she's not prepared <laughs> She's on holiday as well. <laughs> yeah, I know. She's on holiday. Oh, Laura. So, Laura, just tell us, you know, what, what are you excited about right now? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Oh, brilliant. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> I was not expecting this at all. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just, my main focus is, <laughs> um, like, recruitment and um yeah uh, i'm just really like really excited and i've got like um i don't know like the buzz for it and i know where i want to go um yeah it, it it is um i don't know it's like all the pieces of the puzzle is coming together that makes sense um it just yeah i i and i can feel like like I feel different in myself, I feel a lot more confident in myself um yeah i'm I'm just really speechless because I was not expecting that at all. I'm just <laughs> blown away by it. Thank you, <laughs> oh Laura, that's amazing, well done, and I'm, it's so so good to see your growth and you know like you just so so proud of you you're you're doing amazing my lovely and you know we're we're all so proud of you so just keep doing what you're doing and you're going to change more lives and i'm just so excited for the future and where this is going to take you so well done my lovely you really deserve it yeah well done, Laura. thank you and well done for <laughs> getting you on holiday like that's commitment that's that's incredible like absolutely love it amazing i know I know, I was absolutely determined. That's so good. And that's, good. And that's, that's, that's what, that's what it's going to take to get to, to being an NMD, you know, like it's so important to get on these calls, you know, to, to feel the energy, to, to feel like you're a part of the team. So, you know, it's so great to have you on. So thank you so much. And uh, yeah, congratulations. Well done. It's so nice to see you every week. So um, I'm going to give a little, can you can everyone still see me? Can everyone still hear me? Can you give me a thumbs up? I think, yeah. Oh, there we go. Um, well, you all just froze for a minute and I was like, hello. Um, <laughs> I thought you were doing the uh, mannequin challenge. <laughs> um, so my wahoo is going out to um, a lovely lady who, um, who's been in the business for a couple of years now. Um, and she is somebody that has she's got such passion and like she's got such determination and through thick and thin um she's always somebody that has a positive mindset and you know she always builds people up and she's got such a great outlook and there's so much for her to come so maxi i just wanted to give you a shout out because you're such an amazing little soul like you know you you put the effort in you get to the events you know it's it's really special and i think you know you work so flipping hard woman like you know you work day in day out you sit in your office and you're helping people and you're speaking to people and i'm so proud of you um and i know that you know you've got your events coming up and you you know you've got new teamies and you're bringing customers in and i just think you're, you're flipping amazing and it's just a matter of time for you so yeah do you want to just unmute yourself and just yeah just tell us what you're excited about Thank goodness, 
gracious me, Mills. <laughs> um, thank you. I um, I actually, um, I'm, I'm, I don't mean it in a negative way. I hate these Zoom calls this time of the night because I'm buzzing so much I can't sleep after this. It's like, oh my goodness, I'm as if I'm at an event anyway, just being with everybody. And I'm normally just about Juice Plus, I'm like that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I, I, it feels like I started today. I feel most of the times every day like that. I've got so much passion and excitement and I know and I know and I know. Um, there's just one little thing that I need to, um, to push out the way. And that was so evident this weekend again on the events. And, and most of these times we know it, we know it, we know it, we know it, isn't it? And, and I know, I know I feel like a rocket <laughs> and the fuel is burning and I'm just launching and oh, I'm, I'm just excited. And it's, it's, not just, it's not just because of the event, like I say, I really, really feel like that. But I just need to get out of my own way in so many ways. But I, it just when it makes me cry because what I love about, never mind the products the most, is what Juice Plus Business is doing for so many people in their lives. I love, I love where people are somewhere and they just go all the way up. I love that. And, and so many people need that in the world. And if there's just like five people, all of us can help, including ourselves, to do that. I mean, we're helping other people. I, I love it. I love it. Yeah. And um, okay, I say one thing that I that I um, remember that I said. Um, it was it was very important with the um, Instagram. It was interaction. Yeah. Interaction is connect, comment, and compliment. Um, and I think if we remember those three things when we interacting with people, that will be a ball game changer. Thank you so much, Maxie. Oh, such a little ball of energy. You're amazing. Thank you so much. So, guys, thank you so much for coming on tonight and thank you for sticking around. Um, what an amazing call. Thank you, everyone that's spoken this evening. Um, you know, you're all amazing. And, yeah, it's just about sharing those golden nuggets and coming together as a community. And that's what we are. And, you know, we're doing this together. And it's so great that you all show up every week. It's, you know, you're, you're here for the, for the long run, guys. It's amazing to see that. And, you know, we're here to support you and to help you you know, live that dream life. So, you know, just going back to what Jeanette said. So what, what story is it that you're telling yourself that is stopping you from building your business? Because all you need to do is take it out and throw it away and change it. Goodbye. Um, <laughs> tell yourself something different. So, and, and it really is that simple. Like success is a decision. Like it's just going, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it. Nothing's going to stop me. Um, and just have that unstoppable certainty in yourself no matter what everybody else thinks it's unstoppable certainty within yourself um and just know that anything is possible you know me and amy are products of that you know we're just normal girls from little towns in england um you know and we're just excited to see you all grow and you know go through this business so guys thank you so much for coming on tonight i'm so inspired like i'm excited um i'm glad that i don't have to go to bed right now and i can get up and start my day so um yeah i'm buzzing thank you all so much for coming on uh have a great uh monday evening enjoy your sleeps when you get there and uh, we'll see you next sunday don't forget the opportunity calls this week tomorrow night is dream team thursday night i think is uh diamonds this week um have an amazing week and don't forget to invite your customers Love you all loads. Thank you for speaking, guys, and we'll see you soon.